doubling our coverage. A Southern Colorado father is going into Father's Day weekend preparing for the funeral of his young boy. He tells us his five year old son was hit and killed by a car in a driveway. It happened last night at a townhome community near Astrazon and Powers. Today we're hearing from a national nonprofit on how often this happens right here in our community. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is live from outside that neighborhood with that part of the story and neighbors reaction on this. Jared. Lindsay, this all happened around 8 o'clock last night. Those we spoke to in this neighborhood say that this community is full of kids. It was just horrible, horrible. No words to explain why. I've been here 20 years and I have never seen so many police vehicles like there was last night. A growing memorial of flowers and balloons outside the home where a child lived who was tragically struck by a car. The father of the child who did not want to go on camera says his son was just five years old. Those who live in the area say despite the 10 mile per hour speed limit, cars often speed through the streets. And in all these intersections around here, people just race by and I'm, I'm waiting to hear uh, a big crash. According to a report done by Kids in Car Safety, 60 children die every week from similar incidents across the country. 10% of kids hit in pedestrian crashes happen in driveways. That nonprofit also says since 2007, five children have died in front over incidents in El Paso County. We spoke to the man who called 911 in this incident. He says people need to pay attention when driving, especially through neighborhoods. Check your surroundings, move a little slower. Uh, you know, we're living in a neighborhood where there's kids running around everywhere, so it's just kind of common sense to, you know, pay attention. Police say the driver is cooperating and this is an ongoing investigation. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. Just so tragic. All right, Jared, thank you.